Alright, before we jump into the video, here's a fun challenge for you. Inside a rectangle, we can form four triangles. Now, we already know the areas of three of them, one is 9, one is 16, and one is 25. The question is, what is the area of the triangle in the middle? Think about it for a second. And if you enjoy problems like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, some people might say, well, if we knew the length and width of the rectangle, we could just find the total area and subtract the three triangles we already know. That would work, but the problem is, we don't actually know the dimensions. So, let's set it up. Let's call the length of the rectangle, E, and the width, F. Along the length, let's mark off a segment, X, so the rest of that side is, E minus, X. Along the width, let's mark off a segment, Y, so the rest is, F minus, Y. Okay, now let's write the areas. The first triangle is 1 half times, E times, Y, and we're told that equals 25. That means, E times, Y is 50. The second triangle is 1 half times, F times, X, and that equals 16. So, F times, X is 32. The third triangle is 1 half times, E minus, X times, F minus, Y and that equals 9. If we multiply both sides by 2, we get, E, F minus, E Y minus, F X plus, X Y equals 18. Now let's plug in the values we know. E, Y is 50, and, F, X is 32. So the equation becomes, E, F minus 50 minus 32 plus, X, Y equals 18. Clean that up, and we get, E, F plus, X, Y equals 100. Next, from before, x equals 32 over f, and y equals 50 over e. Multiply those together, and x, y equals 1600 over e, f. So now we have e, f plus 1600 over e, f equals 100. Alright, let's clear the fraction. Multiply everything by e, f, and we get e, f squared minus 100, e, f plus 1600 equals 0. That's a quadratic in, E, F. Solving it, we find two possible values, E, F equals 20, or, E, F equals 80. But wait, that rectangle can't have area 20, because one of the triangles already has area 25. So the only possible area is 80. And finally, the area of the middle triangle is the total area of the rectangle minus the three triangles we already know. So that's 80 minus 25 minus 16 minus 9. That gives us 30. So the middle triangle has area 30. Pretty neat, right?